Hello and good morning. Uh, first of all, in response to all of the questions that you guys asked me on YouTube how to install the Foundry product, uh, for example, like the Foundry Nuke, Foundry Guitar, Hero Player, and Mari. Today I'm going to show you how to install all of this. I do not intentionally, in whatever form, show you how to crack or to use those solar illegally for your personal benefits or for your um, money earning process or whatever. I'm sorry, English is not my language. I show you how to crack it just for your educational purpose only. I acknowledge that I use it uh, at home with the crack software, the private software but uh, I don't use it to earn money. Uh, I am an animator. I use Maya most of the day and some kind of knowledge of um, uh, compositing and texturing is a must for me because uh, before I hand out a file to compositor, I need to make sure that everything is uh, well conformed and uh, everything is not missing. A particular layer is not missing so that uh, I don't have to uh, redo my work again and again. So if you guys are running a production studio or working in a production or whatever, it is it is a must that you need to buy all these great applications because of the effort uh, to give you all of this. And <coughs> I know it's very expensive, but if you have a production, and you can earn a lot more than that. So now let's cut the crap and let's go to the nut and ball of the situation. Here on this, I have like a uh, foundry model from the guitar, from the hero. Um, all of these applications will automatically launch if you can get one application to work. For example, in here, I have uh, Foundry Nuke. The first thing that we have to do is, uh, let me get Nuke. I have Nuke 8.4, which is the latest one. I drag these two out. And you simply just install Nuke um, normally the way you do. Here, run the installer. Uh, if you don't know, you have to type the commands. This is for noob only, not for a professional. So you give it a permission and then you can drag and drop it. And you next next to wherever you want. Yes, I have already installed that. And after you install noob application, you need to come to uh, the server. I think the um, here, this part here. And we need to change the directory to install this uh, license server. Drag and drop it. And there you will have, like, uh, you need to try this to install that. Okay, it, it's in here. Here. When you press enter on terminal, it will run and asking you if you want to say yes or not. Just follow the instruction and that is it. And then what do you have to do next? Uh, you come back and look at the crack. You have this kind of reflection telling you what to do. So you follow the instruction after you install this uh, license server, copy this line, and paste them here on terminal. Mm -hmm. Right, and then you press enter. After that, all you have to do is to copy the mm -hmm. crack. Oops, oh, I hate that. You have to copy it from the crack here in the crack. Uh, I think it's in here. Uh, 64 bit. If you are using 64 bit, 32 bit that's another story. 32 bit is dying. So copy this, and then you you write and send to the folder that you are going to copy to. In this case, it's USR local, the foundry, license tools, bins, and all them. You just drag and drop it there, and then you delete this one, paste the crack one into that. Okay? And there is one last thing that you have to do, is uh, not just one last thing, is it will tell you that you need to copy this. Uh, you need to find your host name and your IP address. So the best way to find your host name is to type host name. 
and the best way to find your IP address you can also like host name dash dash IP here is your IP address and here is your host name or if you are there uh, of uh, no no I don't mean the IP address at the I mean like those so you can type like um, I uh, can fix and here is your uh, first Ethernet address I'm sorry and here's the second Ethernet address okay you just copy this go down this colon do not put any columns in there if you come to this for, for example you put your name your host name which is workstation and then your uh, all of this IP address cool right paste in there and you save it and then you uh, copy the file and all I mean sorry before you, you do that you need to stop the, yeah, stop the license server already and you copy this paste it into USR local foundry all them paste it there and that is it and then you need to restart your license server since uh, you just copy the same line yeah and let me do this uh, after you, you follow all the stuff that have done just copy this line and paste if it has an error then there is there are two things you need to check first one you need to type VRECT sysconfig and then network fill in the name of your host ok and then press escape column WQ to get it out and then you need to type ECT, we are e um, ECT host you have only these two lines you need to indent the line put in your IP address in this case the one that I showed you earlier and also uh, the host of your machine and that is it and then you can restart uh, the stuff uh, with the command that I copy from the crack paste it in there and enter and now I have nukes in this here so when I launch it it surely works see all you have to do is just uh, change it to the light king you go to I usually set it to have a folder for new cache open it yes and then the viewer I change it to Maya and then the pin or the control panel I want them to right save it and that is it okay now that nuke is working I kill nuke how about uh, the boundary hero, the boundary katana or whatever katana is uh, in here so uh, that is the install stuff or whatever I would uh, copy katana uh, and paste it into the OPT right uh, no. ok let me put it this way I would copy this and I create a new folder sudo mk directory opt I uh, call it katana right and then I give a right permission no need <coughs> just do like this opt I don't care about whatever just paste all of it there and then I cd to the katana folder then we run the install command we have to shoot everything 30, 20, 30, 40 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 uh, just in case it might give me a stupid yes stop yes press yes and into the full cache you want to install katana so in this case I know where it is OPT Katana Right Okay run. It run all the stuff And you know what you are going to delete To 
for it. Katana is not installing it, it's Katana. So, this other stuff that I'm going to delete. Here, 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 here. Alright. No, I don't run them. Sorry. I want to delete them. need to run this command again so I can delete all of this cool. and now all you have to do is easy you can create a LAN application you call it Tana you don't need to ask to worry about a license everything is working fine oh, sorry it sound like in DNA I'm not into it because I watch a lot of Bollywood thing Mm, I don't like this style, but there's something that you may like. Now the katana is up there, press runs, katana will run. It will take a while, katana is uh, eating up a lot of rams, I do below. And then we can start launching hero. For hero I would, um, I don't care, just a bit flip, run it there. Yes. And then I would copy it to OPT, whatever I place it here. If you have any doubt about Katana not running, try to uh, interactive license OK. And I'm pretty sure it will run soon. Maybe I will have to change it to this when Katana is running. See. OPT Katana, not in the bin, but in there. Okay. Once again, when we press the launch, it should run. <gasps> no, it's not. Oh my god. Okay, we have to add like um, hero. Just call it hero. Hyro or hero or I don't care. Yeah. And then we add like an you know, OPT. I do believe hero is a hazy icon. Yeah. It's there. So when you press it, it should work. I don't know, somehow my right click is not working. I try to click it. Okay, hero is not working. Right. Hero is, if you guys don't know, hero is uh, much, much better than Obi and some of those second player. This hero can play 4K quite, quite fast. I press Katana again because maybe I do not press hard enough. That's why it doesn't work. So, hero, Katana are done. And we have to reboot the system of the time is working because I did not press it hard enough. So now that comes to the whole stuff of like, oh, Mario, you let this version. So all you have to do is I will run it there as well. I just want to get a file. Okay, you see, the folder is created. Pretty easy. So you just copy it and paste it into OPT. And there you go, you have Mari. Uh, I have 3D equalizer as well, so I like to put uh, all the foundry product in one place, right? And then I will add um, Mari in. So Mari, right? Round them to there, and then Mari. Then there, uh, I have the icon here. Kula. Uh, Mari is uh, when you launch Mari, Mari will ask you for a folder cache. So I have a special folder for it. So here, let's fast. Come to um, Meteors, Cache. 
Mari Cash and the Ruler. Mari 2 sounds and Mari 2.6 is absolutely gorgeous and stunning with a lot of new features, uh, shader and anything. Um, I'm not a texture artist, but I just sort of think the way I want. I'm not a perfectionist in that, but in any way, it's going to do. Even though I'm not uh, a working for Pixar or whatever, I learn a lot from them. So I really do, especially when I was working for a uh, Japanese game company as an animator for a couple of years. Uh, that helped me a lot, but never worked for the Japanese game company. They're shit. This guy, a robot. The deadline is stupid, and their work is so stressful. Not stressful in a way of uh, your constructs, in a way of uh, where you can build up your own ability or anything. It just like it is just the way they work. I dare to openly say about that. Any place is stressful, any place is challenging, but there is a place where you can challenge, where you can work uh, with your heart in it. But the Japanese company, at least from my former Japanese game company, it's so uh, full of shit. I mean, the other company are fine, but the CEO of that co of the company is still for this a bit stupid. Okay, now everything is. I think I have answer all the stuff. That you guys have asked now. I put Mari next to you. Okay. So if you have any doubt or anything, please ask me on the YouTube channel. Once again, remember use this great application like Maya or anything just for your uh, learning purpose only. What do I mean by that? If I have problem at work that I cannot solve, I will come back home and I will check it on the internet and I will try to do it here. In, uh, whatever time in the morning, I don't care. I start with a 9, so if you use kind of, oh, you Jasmine by Woody Allen, cool. If you use uh, some kind of like uh, educational learning stuff or anything, uh, Autodesk Maya, Autodesk application has this learning LTS. New also has this LTS, but trust me, it bugs you down uh, with a lot of pain. With a lot of, yeah, it, it, it bugs you down with many things. So it better to crack it, learn from it, go back to work, which you have a legal license on those applications. Oh, we don't have new, we use only Adobe stuff. For my computer, especially in Cambodia. Even though we are doing 4K film now, we are still using that. I know Nuke is strong, but it is under system here. So use it for your educational purpose and then prove yourself at your studio or at any other studio. And that's all I can say. And once again, please ask with a polite word. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Go away. But if you find that it is useful, you can share, we can share. This is the powers of open source. That is why I love Linux more than Mac and Windows. Of course, Mac is cool, but open source is better.